Hey, it's Ian at Las Vegas Scooters and Lifts again. Today I'm going to review the GoGo -Go Sport from Pride Mobility. Four wheel. Yes, the GoGo -Go Sport, the largest scooter in their uh, travel range from GoGo. -Go. This is going to give you the longest range, the longest uh, footboard, the widest, and also the fastest at 4.7 miles an hour. Right, I'm going to go through some of the specifications and I'll also give you a tour top to bottom about the scooter and what you get with the GoGo uh, -Go Sport. So working from the top as normal. You get your D-shaped tiller with your uh, ambidextrous controls, feathered throttle, so reverse, forward, forward, reverse, as I've showed you before, so you can use it either way. You've got your light sensing uh, power gauge, so when you turn the scooter on, let me just take, put the brake on so it doesn't beep at us. So you get your power light that comes on, if I can get it without shining, there we go, so your power light comes in automatically dims down at night time and then gets brighter at, in, uh, in the daytime. Your uh, speed dial is located there, slowest and fastest and also your key rubber bumper to protect the horn and that's your horn there. With the sport you also get the front light which is your light switch just there, that's your pathway light just underneath the scooter. The larger front basket is standard your charger and your extra blue panels, which are metallic blue, and your, also your instructions. And your basket has a nice little handle and a safety lock there to keep it on in case you're transporting it on the uh, vehicle. On the other side of the tiller, you have a charge port, so while the battery pack is on the scooter, you can charge it just there, save your bending down. Also on the tiller, You've got your safety warning stickers there, of course, and also your fuses, one for the charge port and one for the light. Your tiller adjustment knob and your steering lock just there. Larger front basket on this one, so you can store a bottle of water or keys or whatever you want on there. Nice big long footboard. The bigger battery is standard. This is going to be your 18 amp hour battery, which is going to give you about 12 mile range on that battery pack. If it was on the three-wheeler, you get a tiny bit more at 12.75. Obviously, that's uh, with a medium-sized person. A larger person, up to the 325-pound weight capacity of this scooter, you may get a little bit less on the, uh, on the drive range. Nice wide back end for stability and nice wide front end for stability too. Larger tyres on this scooter, plus a higher ground clearance. So uh, your ground clearance on this is going to be 1.5 inches at the motor, but it's going to be about, I don't know, two, two and a half, three inches at the footboard. The tyres front and rear are both the same size, the 9 by 3s They are a larger tyre than uh, the usual go-go sort of tyres, like on the LX or in the Endurance. So it uh, gives you plenty of grip and plenty of stability with that. Your seat is just as normal like a normal pride seat with your rotation handle, your 45 degree and then 90 degree and then so on, all the way around at 360 degrees. So you can get on and off the scooter however you want. Your articulating armrest is normal, tip out of the way so you can get on and off, slide on and off if you want and they are removable by removing the two locking pins, one there, one there, and also with your seat armrest adjusting knobs, just undo those and the armrest will come away. Like on all Pride scooters, you've got your accessory tube there for your walker holder, your cane holders, crutch holder, rear basket, and also oxygen tank holder. On the back of the seat, as normal, is your pouch. Plenty of storage space if you do want to carry the charger you can or whatever else you want to put on there 
Just like any other go-go, you've got your quick release handle there for when you're dismantling the scooter to put in a car, and also your three-wheel brake lever. And just move the scooter forward a little bit. At the back, you have your anti-tip wheels, to save you from tipping back, and also help clear the motor from any speed bumps. And your reflectors, nice wide, big back end, bigger motor, bigger transaxle to give you the faster and the uh, longer distances. Okay, so the main differences between a three and a four wheel are tipping factor on a three wheel, better turning radius, better stability with a four wheel, but your turning radius is going to be wider. So the wideness of this turning radius on this scooter is going to be 50.5 inches, where the three wheel is 36 inches. So you can see the difference there, because it's a longer scooter. Four wheels doesn't give you a tighter turn like a three wheel. If you're after a four wheel stability with a tight turn, shameful plug, try the ZT8. Great scooter, turns on a dime for a four wheel, pretty good. Look for that video and also the drag race. So back to the scooter. I think we've pretty much covered all the specifications. If I've missed anything, you could always drop a question in the comments and I can answer for you. But oh yeah, I didn't go through the length. So the length, overall length of this scooter is going to be 43 inches from front to rear and 42 inches for the three wheel. Overall width on both three and four wheel is 21.25. So you're going to be well within sort of uh, cruise line doorways and things like that. But you may have to remove the armrests, which I'd probably recommend if you're not, uh, not too bothered about using armrests and make the seat a bit lighter from 23 to 21 pounds, maybe something around that 20 pound mark. So I'm going to plonk my butt on this and go for a little spin around the store. Probably won't get up to the 4.7 miles an hour, but you never know. Let's see what happens. But at least you'll get some idea of uh, what the foot length is going to be like and also how it fits me. So I'm five foot nine, losing weight down to 220 pounds. So I've lost hmm, over 20 pounds so far. So I'm doing good. Anyway, yep, you've got your D-shaped tiller. Nice hand grips there with the syrup, not serrated, but like uh, grooved edges around the side there to give you a better grip. Easy pull key, speed dial, like I said, the power gauge there with your power light. And your little horn button there. So you just turn your key on, your lights will then illuminate and then tell you how much battery power you've got. Ambidextrous controls, feathered controls as well, like your gas pedal in your car. Reverse is towards you, and forward is towards you on that side. Or you can push forward to go backwards, and push forward to go forward on that side. Like I said in previous videos, your dealer may be able to switch that over, so if you want that to be forward towards you, pull towards you, then they could do that. I know we can. Little horn, not the loudest in the planet, but hey. So, foot room. You do have these fender shrouds there and there with the little dots as you can see so you could put your feet on there if you feel that you need to gives uh, more foot room plenty of uh, storage room there if you want to put bags or uh, so we get it some people want to put dogs on there but little storage basket there at the front enough for a water bottle and maybe a, a wallet or two and then that's with my feet in there. I'm size 11 US, size 10 UK. Plenty of foot room. Seat adjustable height on the uh, seat post. Four different settings there. If you do buy this from a dealer, make sure they adjust it to your correct height so your legs are at 90 degrees and you're not with the knees up like that, giving you all sorts of pain. Yeah, like I said, plenty of foot room. This is the largest one in there. In their fleet of go-go's definitely a good scooter so let's get going nice slow start so it doesn't jerk away like the older ones used to so nice slow start for indoors and then we can increase the speed to quarter speed still nice and slow but a little bit quicker than just that little pretty good turning radius considering it's 50 inches wide Let's, yeah, let's increase the three speed to a little bit more. 
Yeah, we can definitely turn around this uh, area nice and easy. I don't think I'm even at the highest capacity of turning. Let's give it a, a bit of a... Oh yeah, nice turning radius on there. Quite surprised how well this is for a, a bigger, a wider and longer scooter. So let's see if we can crank up the speed. So we're up to 4.7 miles an hour in the store. Slow down from my corners. Whee! Let's run Jenny over. I haven't got any dry Phoenix stuff. No. You have to order them. Yeah, and they probably haven't got them. Alright. Now I've got rid of the pedestrian. Just move it around. Back through here. Yeah, great turning radius for a four wheel, especially this long. Alright. Yeah, very comfortable. No suspension, but hey, you've got bigger tyres and better ground clearance. So there's your uh, Go Go Sport. I'll just pop the, the light on there so you have a pathway light. I didn't show that. Underneath the basket, LED low wattage. Yeah, I've always liked these scooters. They've always been uh, my recommendation for somebody of uh, a larger capacity and also maybe taller. You know, if you need a scooter that fits a taller person, this is ideal for for the taller and maybe even the wider person. Great, still you can transport it. It comes apart just like any of the Go-Go's, which I've shown in plenty of videos. Don't need to keep going through that and uh, making myself out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, any questions about this scooter that I haven't covered, please drop them in the comments and I'll answer it. Prices is going to be different all over the place. You'll probably get a cheaper bargain online, but you'll end up paying for it in the long run with the warranty and uh, getting somebody else to repair it. Most dealers won't repair them if they're bought online because of the contracts that you sign. Anyway, that's my uh, little review of the GoGo -Go Sport there. Best one in the uh, range for the larger type scooter it is heavier don't get me wrong it weighs a lot the weights between the parts are going to be heavier the, the back ends around about 30 39 pounds i'm guessing but i'll pull that information on the screen as best i can for what pride can give me for it the front, front section is going to be heavier as well seat's going to be just as normal but yeah great scooter for the larger person and somebody who wants to travel a bit further so yeah, so if you've liked this review, like, share, give us that subscribe. We appreciate it. The more subscribers we get, the more we can do on this channel, and the more it keeps us going, gives us an incentive to help you help us. So, till next time, the Go Go Sport, consider it, test drive one, come and see us, Las Vegas scooters and lifts, here in lovely Las Vegas. Even if you're traveling in to come do a bit of gambling or sightseeing, come and see us. We'll always be happy to see you. So, till next time, keep rolling for the sport. Bye now.